What's going on beautiful people? What is going on? It is your boy Nico. Welcome back to my channel. This video I'm going to be doing is a review video and it's going to be on one of my favorite bags right now. I showed it in like maybe four videos now. So now it's time to do the review because I've had it for a while. So now I'm going to give you guys my my, the good, the bad, the ugly about this bag. But I digress. Let me tell you a little bit about the bag first. So the bag that I'm going to be reviewing is the Hermes Evelyn, which is right here. So now they made three different versions in this bag. So now the first version is the Hermes Evelyn 1, which is going to be the Evelyn bag. But it does not come with the back pocket or it does not come with an adjustable strap. So it is literally just the strap. I'm not sure how long the strap will be, but it's just the strap, however long they, they made it to be with the bag now the Evelyn 2 they decided to come on with the adjustable strap for the bag but again it does not come with a back pocket now in the Evelyn 3 they decided to give you an added back pocket and keep the adjustable strap we wanted to tell you guys that because you know I've been seeing you know Evelyn's online that says Evelyn 3 but when I look at the photos it does not include the back pocket or it does not include the adjustable strap so just know what you want before you go to the secondhand um, consignment stores now this bag only comes in palladium hardware so also beware of that you know the bag does not come in gold hardware it only comes in palladium hardware so now the different sizes that they made this bag in it is four different sizes three of them is still in continuation or in rotation and one of them got discontinued the discontinued one is the TGM which was is the largest size I decided on the GM version which is not that bad of a size as well they have the PM version and the TPM version which is like the little small mini bag the two different type of leathers that the bag comes in is the Clemence which is the one that I got so which is the more slouchy less structured one and the Epsom leather which is just a more structured one that probably won't age over time and probably still keep its structure but this one will just age and become all slouchy and like bendable which I love I love like a chill unstructured bag with when it comes to this bag I feel like some bags should be structured but I think that this bag um, it's fine in the Clemence for me um, and I do not mind that it slouches now I don't believe in it comes in exotic I've never seen it or I've never seen it in any other type of material or yeah but if I could be wrong, and if I am, just leave the comments down below in the comments party and we can just discuss that. You can teach me something new. So now the measurements of this bag, it is 13 inches in length, 12 inches in width, in width, in width, and 4 inches in depth, which is from here to here. Now the inside of the bag is an unfinished type of leather, like you know, it's just a raw leather, which I kind of hate. I kind of wish. And let me tell you just two things bad about this bag or that I wish that they would change or probably come out with another version. I wish that they would like line it or just finish it just a little bit more because the bag is kind of pricey. But when I put my like my suede things inside or like my I know my Celine sunglasses case is suede and I have like a little Chanel mirror that is kind of suede. But when it comes out of this bag, all of the suede or not suede, but all of the unfinished raw leather sticks onto that. And I literally have to take my lint roll and like dust it off because it looks like disgusting. But that's the only thing I wish. I wish that they would kind of like, you know, line this bag or at least like not make it so raw but you know it's not the end of the world and i kind of wish that it came with a zipper on the top but again it's not the end of the world because i would probably if it probably came with a zipper i probably wouldn't use it anyway but yes it's just an raw unfinished piece of material inside so now I've seen this bag being worn so many different type of ways. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, you can wear it as a crossbody bag, or what I've seen people do is, which I do not, I was like, oh, this is a dope idea, is wear it as a little clutch. Now I'm pretty sure it'll work better with the PM size, but you know, just in case, I've seen, I think I saw it on Pinterest, a guy wearing the red one, and it was a GM size, like as a little clutch underneath his, like, you know, his arm, or like, you know, do you have it in your hand? Like, so it just be like an oversized clutch. It doesn't really need the straps. You just tuck this down and no one will ever know that this hat this bag has a strap which I really really love as well as you know straps are very in right now when I mean they're very trendy they're very current so don't be afraid to put um, a strap on this bag that is not an Hermes strap you can use like um 
whichever, like, you know, your Balenciaga strap, whichever strap, your Fendi strap, whichever strap that comes off, you could probably put it on this bag and, you know, you wear it and no one's going to look at you crazy. Like, I can't wait to try wearing this um, strap on a different type of bag that I already have that I'm thinking in my head that will look so nice. No, it doesn't have to be the same type of color. Just because this is a gold, natural brown color does not mean the same bag has to be gold and natural and brown. It could be any color, especially since it's trendy right now. But the current price of this bag right now is $3,750. Yes, it's a pricey bag but we already know Hermes is expensive so if you don't even like to hear the prices just click out now or just go about your business but um definitely I just think definitely think this is an investment bag you know I love this bag I love 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 and I'm and it's gonna pay for itself over and over and over again because the amount of times that I wore it already and that I'm thinking of wearing it and I'm traveling with it, oh, I cannot wait to wear it. Like, I love this bag. And I definitely think you can wear this bag in the winter time, not in the winter time. I'll say in the fall, in the summer, and in the spring because when it starts snowing, all your stuff is gonna get wet because again, there is no pocket, but, and yeah, that's the only thing that I'm worried about. Like if it starts snowing, all your stuff is gonna get wet in the inside, but I just definitely think that this bag can be worn anytime. It's very classic and it's very time. No, I'm not saying go run outside and get this bag if you don't love it. Only buy it if you love it because it is a pretty penny. And I love that it comes with the contrast stitching. Like look at the contrast stitching up on the white. Now here's like, look at, look at it. This bag is gonna age so well. Like this is my favorite, favorite. I'm so glad that I got it in the gold because I'm, I was contemplating on getting it, on, it, it in black, but I'm like, Nico, you don't need another black bag, but I also do love the Etoupe or the Etan version. And they also did have like a vert anglaise or vert francais or one of those vert colors, which is green. And you already know I love the color green, color green with the silver hardware. <sighs> Palladium hardware, <sighs> amazing. So now I have to say about this bag. Now, if you have any more questions, make sure you guys go down in the comment party and leave me some questions because you guys already know I love my comment parties as well as, wait, what's going on in this bag? Oh, it's unboxing time. That was so cheesy, Nico. I don't even care. It was so cheesy. Oh, it's unboxing time. But anyway, um, I did wanted to show you guys. I did re-up on the Bredo, by Bredo. How do you guys say it? By Bredo or Bredo? Like... I don't even know, but I did re-up on the, can you guys see this? Gypsy water. I love, 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 love this. And I got the bigger size this time. So now let's unbox it together. The one is right over here and it's finishing. I got the smallest one, the 50 ml, I think this one is. And I just definitely wanted to try it, but I love it so much. And if that one's finishing that I had decided to go ahead and get the big one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at it! Oh, I'm so, yo, I'm so cheesy, you guys. I'm so high. This is, oh, I cannot wait. Like, this is a big difference. And this one is the, oh, they're both the parfums. The, it looks so different, like, in the colors. Like, do you see? This one looks more yellowy, and this one looks more, let me. Anyway, this one looks more yellowy. This one looks more white. Let's see. Oh my gosh. You guys need to go get a sample of Gypsy Water. Gypsy water, you guys need to go get a sample of Gypsy water at Barney's or at the Gypsy water store or whatever at Barney's or at um, Bredo or by Bredo or however you guys pronounce it. And the other thing that I wanted to unbox is my latest item. Well, it's not unboxing, it's just a reveal because I opened it already because I was so hyped. By the time I got home, I was like, oh, I'm opening this thing. So here it is. It is a, if you guys can tell by the size of the box, the little paper fell down here. Um, so... If you guys can tell, here's a little paper. Here's a little paper that it came with. If you guys saw it. And here it is the item. Let me see. It is this item right over here. Now you guys already know that I'm very into scarves. I've always been into scarves, but now I'm really, really into them. Where whether it's wearing them around my neck, wearing them around my head, wearing them around my face. I'm or wearing them as a bracelet. I'm very, very into scarves, and I wanted this anyway because you know I just wanted it, and I I needed a bandana, and I wanted it, so I got it. So here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, I'll make sure. You know what? You you guys are not gonna see the beauty in this scarf. So I'll make sure I will link a picture or something in here to let you guys know what it is. Um, this I think costs 175 bucks or 180. I'm not too sure, but it is not that pricey at all for like you know 
an Hermes 100% silk scarf and is pretty much up there with the rest of the scarves out there. But I decided to get this color, a navy blue, because I know it's going to go with everything. And I wear a lot of navy blues. There's blacks in here and there's whites. And it is going to go perfect with this bag if I choose to wear it with it. Now look, look at that. Let me put this up here. Look at that. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh. But anyway, don't forget to like this video and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you really, really love it, please don't forget to share it. Look at me begging like, please don't forget to share. If you love it, just share it. Um, as well as comment all down with your comment parties because you guys already know I love my comment parties down below. And I'll make sure to link everything that I talked about in this video. I'll try to link down below, you know, I guess what I'm wearing or, you know, what I talked about in the description box because I fill that out for you guys. So make sure you subscribe because I do videos every single Friday. If I feel I want to do videos twice a week, I will, but that would not change the rotation of videos every single Friday. I wanted to make sure I was consecutive before I announced it, which I am consecutively doing well, God willingly. But, you know, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Peace. Bye.